Ville Tietäväinen, uh, graphic designer, illustrator, uh, visual, visual storyteller. And then I have this uh, comic book hobby which takes my time and kills my back. I use all my, my knowledge that I have gained from illustration and graphic design work when I'm doing comics and, and vice versa also. Uh, I, I use knowledge that I have gained from comics when, when, I'm, when I'm doing other work. What, what inspires me in, in comic art is, is that one person can be responsible for the whole, creating the whole universe, uh, both textual and visual. I, as an author, I just give the key pictures and, and the reader has to create the story in, 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 in his or her head. Two-pager, uh, there was around 30 or so comic artists from fin Finland uh, invited for this album and everybody had one spread for a story about uh, technology and, and I'm, I'm not very uh, delighted of, of new technology at, at all and back then I had a friend who was really depressed and uh, before the time that we have now that we really have these robot friends for for people I, I imagined this kind of uh, relationship with a very, very lonely person and, and this uh, machine. Every book has its own key message. For example, this uh, invisible hand, I think my key message was to show the modern world uh, from the point of view of, of, of an immigrant. I have tried to, wh whenever my stories are situated somewhere er else than in my surroundings, I, I try to do a lot of background research and go to the places and, and uh, see these people and in interview these people. And, and uh, of course, then I have to admit that, that 50% of, of things are my imagination, but, but I have some kind of basis that I can say that, that I have met these people, I have seen how their life is. And drawing style is, is a thing that I try to invent again and again for, for the certain project. project. And, and so, so for me first is the story and then, then I uh, try to st think that what kind of uh, style and technique would uh, be just suitable for that story and, and make it richer. And of course I have uh, certain stylistic and uh, technical traits uh, I, I, I like to do, which are natural for me to do. But uh, for example this latest, latest book Almost every dream was made with a different technique and uh, so it was like a collage of different kind of dra drawing styles and, and techniques. And uh, one thing in common for me seems to be that I, I'm not very keen on using uh, really much color. Uh, Color for me is more like a symbolic way of presenting things than than. To me, it's it's there's no information in, in showing that somebody has a red shirt or blue shirt. But but the co colors, for example, in this invisible hands, they are different in Europe and different in Morocco. <laughs>